Hey everyone, Horror Hottie here. Today I'll be discussing my love for the Final Destination series. I've undergone the task of pitting every single one against each other in this ranking. Obviously, spoilers are ahead, so proceed with caution. All timestamps will be included, so if there's a film you don't want spoiled, simply skip ahead to the next film in the lineup. For reference, I use a 5 point rating system. Number 5, The Final Destination. 1.5 stars. It was a nice throwback to include previous deaths with skeletal shots. I thought it was cute how the protagonist went on to warn everyday people about safety. I was thinking this might be the one where they change up the formula and people actually survive at the end, but I'm glad it didn't work out that way. They should save that concept for a better film in the series. This has some pretty obvious product placement. At one point a man exclaims, four mini tampons is a lot for one woman. He's sitting right next to two women who are his friends, I can't believe they didn't call him out for that. The acting and special effects in this one are noticeably worse. I don't know why this has a blatant racism. You can make a character unlikable without having him spouting racial slurs. Number 4. Final Destination 3. 3 stars. Fun fact, my mother let me watch this one as a kid. Yikes. The roller coaster crash and tanning bed scene are burned into my mind. A carnival was a great idea for this series, it fits right in, plus horror and carnivals go hand in hand. I love Ashley and Ashlyn, I know fellow baddies when I see them. The scariest part of this film is the idea of being the only woman in a room full of men aggressively working out. This sadly contains sexual harassment and animal harm. Number 3, Final Destination 2, 4 stars. I like how this tied into the first film. This one definitely has better deaths, but almost every aspect other than that is weaker. Shayna McClank is so me. I love watching people cook, especially shirtless with a nipple piercing. <laughs> Speaking of, the most disturbing scene involves that. I don't even want to think or talk about it, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Number 2, Final Destination 5, 4 stars. The laser eye surgery scene is definitely a contender for one of the best scenes in the entire series. This includes nice use of foreshadowing. The popping sound her eye makes when that death happens to her is clever sound design and probably got to a lot of audience members. I like how this got all slashery at the end. The compilations of deaths from all the previous entries was nice, good for the fans. My one major issue with this film is Isaac. It's sad as fuck to heavily imply you deserve extra services. I hate men like him. The 30 effects were kind of corny, but it's not a huge deal. This was a great end to the series. Apparently there's another in the works, but I really think they ju should just stop here. It wrapped up the series nicely, especially considering it's a prequel to the first film. Number 1. Final Destination. 4 stars. I love the premise of these films. The scariest part of this movie for me would have been boarding the plane knowing the baby would be crying the whole time. The plane crash scene was phenomenal. I like how we see the protagonist spiral into an obsession of plane accidents after the incident. It seems like it would be the natural next step for him. I thought the coroner was perfectly cast. I'm so glad the German Shepherd didn't die. But why was the coroner completely chill with two teenagers breaking in to see a corpse? Very odd. The ending was also very abrupt. It needed some work. It didn't feel like a conclusion at all. What do you think of my list? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you want to read my full reviews, check out my letterbox links. I'm also interested in your ranking, so be sure to list them, or even just your favorite and why you like it. Leave a like and subscribe, and hit the bell for more rankings as well as other content. If you'd like to support my content financially, please consider becoming a patron. I have tiers starting as low as $2 a month. As a companion piece to this video, I have a Patreon exclusive up right now ranking each death from the Final Destination series. Check out the link in the description for more info on exclusive perks. Until next time, mwah!